10.80 seconds, a time barrier that represents undeniable greatness for the women's 100 meter dash. In the history of women's sprinting, take a guess at how many women have ever gone under 10.80. Is it 15, maybe 20? Well, the answer is only 25 sprinters in the history of the sport. If you look at this list, you will notice many familiar names. In fact, just to make it into the top 25, you will almost certainly need to have some kind of Olympic or World Championship medal to your name. When you talk about the all-time greats in women's sprinting, a sub 10.8 performance is definitely one of the time barriers that is universal associated with greatness. And somehow, in her first outdoor performance of 2024, one athlete from the University of Tennessee absolutely stole the show at this year's Tom Jones Memorial Invite. And this athlete is Jacious Sears in the women's 100 meters. Just when I thought that the NCAA could not get any more dramatic, this performance absolutely blew me away. With one of the more impressive starts that I have ever seen, and one of the most dominant closes this season, Sears was pretty much gone from the gun, and nobody else in this particular 100 was even close. Now, in this collegiate race, she took the victory by more than four tenths of a second, a literal light year when it comes to the 100 meters. And as great as many of the other performances were in this year's Tom Jones invite, such as Tamari Davis in the women's 100, and also Abby Steiner, again showcasing her closing speed, this one 100 meter race from Jacia Sears was widely agreed upon as the greatest performance on this day. In addition to being the second fastest NCAA 100 athlete of all time on the women's side, now only falling behind Shakari Richardson's 10.75 from 2019, this time also would have tied her for the bronze medal in last year's World Championship Finals, placing her to the 100th of a second next to the pocket rocket herself, Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Jamaica. It is also worth mentioning that in 2022, this time again would have made it onto the podium, and it would have earned a silver medal in 2019, and if we go back to 2017, this would have actually earned her the gold medal in the World Championships, a staggering fact considering that this was only Sears' season opener. With a start like this, it is no surprise that Sears is also the third fastest 60 meter athlete in NCAA history as well, so her start is most definitely world class. But the more and more that I watch this race, the more that it really does seem as though she is just continuing to separate as this race continues, which most definitely points towards the fact that her sprinting strength is also world class. This is a dangerous combination of sprinting abilities, because typically when an athlete has a strong start, they might not necessarily have a strong finish, but putting both together is very scary if you're any athlete competing against Jacia Sears. This race was not just special because it places her in the top 25 all time on the women's side, but it's special for another reason, and that's because in the history of the women's 100, a total of 126 individual performances have taken place where an athlete has broken 10.8. As you can see, Jamaica absolutely dominates this list, as they have 71 out of these 126 performances, which is 56.3% of this list crazy. But the one stat that really impressed me here was the fact that only two women have ever run faster than 10.80 seconds in April. And these two athletes, coincidentally, are Shakari Richardson and now Jacious Sears. Now, it does help that the NCAA season typically opens a little bit earlier than the professional scene, but it's also quite common to race in April even on the professional side. Now, when Richardson ran this time, she achieved a clocking of 10.72 seconds on April 10th of 2021. And for the remainder of this year, Shakari was absolutely on fire, winning the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon, and she also achieved a time of 10.64 seconds in the Olympic trials semifinals, with a slight tailwind of 2.6. But still, this was a blistering time for Shakari. Right now, Sears is hitting some crazy early season fitness, but with the demands of the NCAA season, it will certainly be a challenge to maintain her fitness all the way to the Olympic trials and hopefully the Olympic Games. But if she does make it, she will be a threat against anyone. This performance puts Sears into a very strong position as one of the prime athletes to beat in the women's 100. And if she can simply improve by 0.03 seconds, she will officially have the NCAA record to her name. And now I would love to hear from all of you 
on this athlete. What do you think about this performance from Sears? And what do you think about her potential this season? Will she make it to the Olympic trials finals? Will she make it into the Olympics? And do you see her winning potentially an Olympic medal? I know it's early, but it's always interesting to see your takes on athletes. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.